Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. So in this Illustrator tutorial, we'll be showing you a really useful quick tip for how you can create some quick geometric shapes using Illustrator. So we're going to start off by selecting the ellipse tool and we're just going to draw, hold on to shift and we're just going to draw a circle somewhere within our canvas and then from there we can change the colour. So we're just going to use a blue for the example. We're then going to head over to Effects and select Distort Transform and we want to choose Pucker and Bloat and then from there we can then decrease the Pucker. So decreasing the Pucker will add sharp straight edges and then as you'll notice as you drag the slider down the toggle it will, it will create different shapes for you and if you bring the Bloat up it will create more curved edges rather than sharp hard lines. So once you've found a shape that you're happy with, select OK and then head over to Object, Expand the Parent and then we've created a really cool unique shape in a matter of seconds. Another method for creating unique shapes, if you draw out another circle, we'll change the colour to be green this time. Head over to Effect, Distort Transform. This time you want to select Zigzag. And then from there, what we can do, we can increase the size of the zigzag and we can increase the amount of rigid within the shape. So we could do it as five if we wanted to. And then we have the option to do corners or do it smooth. And then select OK. And then we create another unique shape in the Illustrator. So same process, expand the parents. And there you go, two unique shapes and this method can be applied using any shape and depending on what shape you get, what shape you use will alter the results at the end. So it's, it's worth playing around with different shapes and just getting used to this technique and seeing what you can come up with. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, thanks for watching and stay tuned to Creative Nerds for quick tips on how to use Illustrator.